All right, y'all, so part two for today. Uh, we are down on the ground. I got my treats I was talking about in the last video. And what I'm gonna be doing is boundaries when sitting or when on the level with Bunker here. I'm starting with this jerky stick. He's very excited. He's gotta sit for it though. No? Good. Good, see, I'm holding on to it. Good. And so see what I'm doing here. First, I'm starting with a little bit of a handling exercise. He got a little piece of a bone last night and did very well with it. So see what I'm showing here is this is a communal experience for him. and something that we can share together. And he can start getting up. No. And he can start getting used to having his paws touch. See how he's looking at me. He says, I don't like that. I'm going to stop that. Getting this touched here. Good. So what this does is this just desensitizes him. Uh, up, sit. Make some earn ah that treat a little bit. And then also gives them better communications with our hands. So see, what happens is that what I want you to do then is have a closed fist for him. There he goes, he got it. Okay. So that's why I bring up my antler now, which is amazing. So let's start with this. So normally I, I always have perpetually um, nicked cuticles from puppies. I'm, I'm always bound to make a mistake, and I'm sure you guys are too. Good. So see what I'm doing now with that extra practice? I close my fists. Yes, good boy. And then he can get attention that way. Good. So he's licking rather than... And then also giving him... See, watch this. Ah, see? Easy now. Uh-huh. So see, this is just one of these little crunchy little biscuits. Place. Place. Oh my gosh, it's like, you know, coming up with them. The leash that you're gonna see that happen. Easy now. No. Easy. No. You gotta learn his impulse. No. No. See, he can't be just chomping. Easy. No. Good. So we'll just work on him like that. There it is. Good, easy, easy, there we go. Very nice, much better, much better. Let's try this again. <laughs> he stepped out of it, that's so funny. Easy. See how he's just chomping? We're not gonna allow for that. Wait. Less, less, no, easy, easy. There it is. There it is. There it is. Good. Much better. See, look at that. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Sit. So Uh-uh. No, you don't get to do that. So this is just immature puppy stuff, but I'm not going to let him off the hook. I'm just not. Sit. Wait. No. You will wait. You will get it, I promise. Sit. He's a puppy I know is very capable of things, so I am holding him accountable. No, wait. No. I wanna show you this, there you go. Seems easy. You're gonna have to remind him on these skills. He's not gonna come back just magically a perfect pup. I mean, maybe he will, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I want you guys to hold him accountable on all these things as well. So a piece of jerky works really well with this. Good. Good. All right, now let's move on to the handling exercise. You have a good idea of no nipping. Here you go, he loves this thing. No, nothing. There's nothing. Just search, that's fine. Yes, he is hoovering everything. says no to that, okay. You more interested in what's over here? How about I take this off? There he goes. There you go, hey, come on. 
So I want you guys to spend time with them doing this kind of stuff too. Even though this might not look like much in the exact this exact moment, and we're not accomplishing literally everything that I want to do on my time, that's how it is with puppies. You gotta learn to be flexible, but you also have to learn to be firm and hold them accountable. I've said that several times, there we go. Good, so you need to hold these things with him too. I really limit his access to this. When he goes in his crate, he gets it. And then whenever I want to chill with him on the couch the past day, I've done that. And then right now, as I'm talking to you, good. not many dogs like their paws really touch that much, but I want to get him used to this. See how he's being evasive? Yeah, Rigby is not a fan of this. There is, ah, uh -uh, he says no. So, you know, I mean, you want him to be able to do that, but he's also gonna have his own boundaries. Let me take that one. But he should get somewhat used to it so he can get his nails clipped. But he's really, but, you know, I mean, this is something that I've done for a long time with dogs, but at the same time, he's really focused on this, this activity. So we don't wanna bother him too, too much, but I do want him to know that this is a communal thing. It's something for us to share. It's a good bonding exercise and it helps create better relations with your like lap and your hands. So we're not, we're just not gonna allow him to be running all over us. And this is how you get him not to do that and him to mature. So with this impulse control and with these handling exercises, these work great. What are you here, little buddy? Good, so we're gonna wrap this one up here. Um, but I think this no nipping exercise is gonna help you guys get through this puppy stage uh, with him. Now this isn't gonna last. I know it's probably been a while since you've had a puppy, um, but he uh, he's doing well with all of it. And I think he's controlling his impulses well enough. Um, but you know, I mean that teething process that he might be going through can be a little intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to him and I will bid you adieu.